Alright guys, now today's video is a bit different from what you see usually here and it's basically um, a test on how liquid metal uh, gets older. So now uh, we applied liquid metal on this deleted with copper IHS i9 9900KF around a year ago. So now we will see what it looks like after a year. It was uh, um, this one, so thermal grizzly conduction out and we will apply the same one if we need to reapply. So now let's go, let's pop it open and let's see what it looks like under the hood, all right? Now I will remove it from the motherboard uh, just to be sure. And now let's see if I actually managed to open it. By the way, look at how pretty it is. And now, okay. As you can see, it's pretty dried up and some parts of the CPU um, do not have a liquid metal anymore, but if we see here, um, it actually did make contact before we popped it open. Now, I will try to clean it off a bit with alcohol, as much as I can, and then I will replace it. So now let's go. Um, if you're doing this, you definitely want to have something under it, because you don't want to risk damaging your desk. So we will just place this one under it. Now I will get some alcohol wipes. You can just use regular isopropyl alcohol. Um, on a tissue or something, but I have those alcohol pads. So now I will grab those and see if it comes off and by how much. Now let's go. Um, you know, liquid metal can form an alloy with copper. So this is what makes it difficult. And that's why I'm not trying to actually remove it. I'm just trying to remove, uh, you know, the parts of liquid metal, which are not flat. And as you can see, it's very hard to remove it. It's basically impossible. But again, the old liquid metal is not gonna impair the thermal conductivity of the new one. So you really, so, guys, sorry for the camera shake. I will try to put it back. All right. So you really don't need to worry about uh, the old liquid metal, uh, you know, damaging your performance. So this is as much as we will be able to do here. Now let's get straight onto the die. As you can see, we, I have the nail polish on the conductive side of the CPU to prevent the liquid metal from going there. But our application was quite nice, so we actually didn't need that. Yeah, as you can see, even here, it's really hard to remove it, but a little bit it's coming off, so we will try our best to get it off. Yeah, it's basically impossible to get it off. So we will keep it like that, uh, grab another tissue and basically dry up the alcohol. Okay. By the way, let me know if you like, like this kind of video without scripts, without uh, cuts and without redoing the scene, just me uh, going through what I would do regularly if I wasn't filming, because I personally like them. Oh, apparently with a tissue, we can get a bit more of, um, of the copper part, so this is interesting. I will try to go for it a bit. Uh, yeah, this is, I guess, as much as we're getting out of it. Yup. Okay, that's it. Now let me finish to dry off the dye. Ooh, that's very bad. I, I was actually spreading a bit of liquid metal over here and if you do that you will kill your CPU uh, so now we'll use some alcohol wipes to get it off completely uh, so yeah be very careful when you use tissues uh, and liquid metal not to touch uh, the conductive parts of the CPU like where you actually have transistors and stuff because that's gonna kill it uh, th those are actually SMDs not transistors but you got the point uh, all right now we clean it off properly uh, as you can see, there are some liquid metal scraps on the tissue under it, so you wanna uh, swap out the tissue and then clean it off with alcohol. But before that, we're gonna apply uh, our new slash old liquid metal again. Uh, now, I always keep it in a tissue because, uh, you know, it can damage stuff if it spreads. But now we're also gonna use a new, um, a new one, a new Q-tip, I guess it's called, and now, we will apply just a little bit of liquid metal. This is the hard part, because you might spread it all over the place, so you wanna be extra gentle when you apply it. Uh, again, as you can see, I'm doing it very slow, 
uh, right this is actually a bit too much uh, but you know we're gonna go with it so now let's go all right this is the perfect amount uh, I mean I thought it was a bit too much but since we are also going to reapply it on the IHS maybe it's just perfect um, try not to go over the borders but like if you do if you use nail polish properly it's not gonna damage your CPU or anything so you don't have to worry about that one either but I'm trying to be careful anyway okay you know um, with copper IHS and liquid metal uh, the performance actually gets better uh, the more you reapply it because once the alloy which is the part that we cannot remove right now of liquid metal is formed uh, it then has a way better uh, like adhesion like it sticks there better all right now we applied it perfectly uh, now i'm gonna just do the same here uh, with the leftover liquid metal i also have like the exact footprint of the die so I can just put it over there. If you don't have the footprint, just do as I did in the previous one, uh, which is like this border liquid metal, just apply it a bit more because like you cannot put too much, pretty much, unless you, you know, chuck the whole bottle over here. Uh, but like you, you cannot cover too much the, the IHS because we, we put uh, nail polish. So that's not going to be a big deal. And then, yeah, spread it multiple times. You want to be extra sure that you actually have liquid metal everywhere and that it's sticking everywhere and the sticking part is the hardest part okay now let me reapply it here and this is actually quite nice I'm pretty happy with how it came to be honest yes this is gonna be it so now we're just gonna close it up and let me try and see like this should be the right uh, way uh, hold up <laughs> I'm actually not that sure maybe it was this one yeah I mean it doesn't really matter right it's it's mostly for aesthetic purposes but but I get I guess it was this one so now just gently apply it and this is it now again we want to actually slightly uh, clean the bottom of the CPU with alcohol so now let me slide all this liquid metal mess to the side. Then let's just get our CPU here. Get another alcohol wipe, just a clean one. Okay, then just press the IHS because the surface contact will prevent it from opening. And then just use an alcohol pad to clean the bottom so that we do not have any liquid metal over there. All right. Now again, double check that it's put properly, press it firmly, uh, don't, don't worry about your hands touching the bottom of the CPU, like that is the last of our problems right now, okay, as you can see it's pretty clean, there are no liquid metal traces, now just grab a tissue for the last time and dry up completely uh, your alcohol, because alcohol is non-conductive but it will prevent your CPU from making proper contact if you have alcohol on the pads okay now we've done that and now it's actually time to slot it uh, back into our motherboard so now I don't have that much space in my camera angle but I will try to do it properly so here we are and now I can actually slot it back in right there then you want to uh, pull it a little bit a little bit higher because when closing it down, the clamping force will actually push it back a little bit. And now let's just close it. And this is it. Finished product. Uh, new application of liquid metal. It was definitely necessary. Uh, so let me know what you think about this one, guys. And see you in the next one.